The mouse lay down on its luxurious sponge bed, ready to take a nap. He was just about to fall asleep when a nail drove through the wall. The mouse trembled with fear. Then the nails went in one by one, and the mouse and the bed went in. The little mouse was frightened and ran away frantically, but the nail was still coming through the wall. It turned out that John was driving a nail into the wall. The little mouse quickly avoided. Suddenly a nail stopped in front of it, and then several more. The little mouse was completely trapped inside. This is it. The most deadly one is coming. The nail suddenly stopped. The nail gun was dead, so John picks up the hammer to break it in and suddenly, someone shouts to him to get out. Lucky little mouse survived. Tom and John are carrying the bath up the stairs. The mouse decides to make them feel scared too, so he hides behind the bottle. The two brothers had a great hatred for the mouse from then on, and they vowed to catch him. In the room, they were carefully arranged traps and were about to leave when the room door was locked. Two brothers were caught in a trap of their own, and they waited all night. The little mouse came out at last. The little mouse, however, is perfectly able to avoid all traps through his dexterous body. The brothers looked stunned. They thought the little mouse was too clever, and they didn't know how to teach it a lesson. The little mouse, through constant movement, finally climbed to the top of a can. Finally, a cherry falls perfectly and finally hits a mouse trap, triggering all the traps in an instant. They admired the mouse's ability to calculate. The little mouse slowly took the dessert and walked away. Angry Tom picked up the vacuum cleaner and ran after the mouse. Finally, the mouse got into the hole and Tom sucked on the hole. The mouse clung to the wire so tightly that the strong one would suck it away. Then, suddenly, Tom felt something inhale. Just when he thought he was going to make it, the pipe behind him suddenly burst with water and the vacuum bag bulging. It turned out to be a suction pipe. The brothers are still proud. This time the vacuum bag has increased to 10 times, and the little mouse has already been lying on the window watching the two brothers. The brothers turned into clay figures. The desperate brothers suddenly thought of the rat's natural enemy, so they went to a cat shop. When the boss learned it of the brothers' needs, he took them to see the fiercest cat in the area. Because of its ferocity, it has been chained up for a long time. Brothers saw its powerful aura and decided that it was it. After returning home, the cat saw the mouse and the animal heart was completely released. The great work the century ensued. The brothers were relieved, but the little mouse was not an ordinary mouse. He set up the gate with a mouse trap, making the cat embarrassed. He then led her into the elevator, where the mouse immediately chewed through the rope and the kitten failed. The brothers had no choice but to think of the best way. They bring in D.A. Vinci, the world's greatest rat catcher. The expert was armed to the teeth just to catch a little mouse. He saw three rat droppings on the ground, and took out his tweezers and put them in his mouth. He used Detector 007 to probe the floor, but the mouse quietly gnawed through the wire. After the expert found that the two were connected, his own car appeared on the display screen. The expert quickly looked out of the window. The little mouse was there. At that moment, the mouse activated the roller switch, and the rope was immediately tightened. The expert at the other end was dragged by the rope all the way from upstairs to downstairs, stumbling until they stopped in front of the car. Then it leaves a rat droplet behind and leaves quickly. The brothers return home to find that the expert has gone mad and the house is in shambles. They were completely dumbfounded. Then they suddenly see a moving sandwich and the mad Tom crawls into the fireplace after the mouse. Because it was too fat and stuck in the middle, the little mouse then opened the gas valve. John took out his flashlight but found it was out of power. The kind mouse handed him a box of matches. Tom just landed in his own bathtub. It devastated Tom picked up his shotgun and fired. He saw the rat get into the hole and aim at the opening, and underneath it were the eggs dropped by the exterminator. The two brothers decided to put the house up for auction and rebuild it. At the auction, many people bid, but the mouse appeared again. Fortunately, John caught it, but the mouse slipped into the sleeve. John, who was so frightened that he was jumping around, accidentally flicked his cigarette on top of the woman's head. In a panic, Tom took a glass of wine and poured it on and the fire burst into the sky. Fortunately, it was extinguished by a basin of water. Tom saw the mouse go into the hole. It took the hose and put it in. By this time, the bidding had reached $25 million. The brothers are very happy. Just at the moment of friends, suddenly the house was hit. When Tom saw the crowd leaving, it said quickly that it was to test the soundness of the house. As soon as it said that, the whole house collapsed. The brothers had to go to the old factory left by their father but the mouse quietly crawled under the car. In the factory, the brothers were tired, and the little mouse took pity on them and put a piece of cheese into the machine, produced the first string cheese. In this way, the brothers turned the closed string factory into a cheese factory. Business is booming, and mice have become their taste testers and spokespeople. At last, the family lived a happy life.